One of our most popular and enduring posts and videos at an Oregon cottage has been about our paper floors. Hundreds of thousands of people have viewed the video on YouTube. We've been featured in a magazine and it still gets most of the comments that I, and questions that I have on my blog. So we thought it was about time to do a follow-up video. And in this video, we're gonna show you what our paper floors look like four years later. We're gonna take a close look at them and be honest and share with you some of the problems that we've had with them. And we're gonna answer your top questions that we get from both viewers of the video and readers of the blog post. This floor here that you're looking at is the entryway to our son's bedroom that we did four years ago. It looks exactly the same as the day we put it down, including the fact that we don't have a threshold yet. One of the things we noticed when we pulled one of the rugs up is that some of the vinyl rug pads will leave this residue on top of the floor, the polyurethane, it sticks to it. And, uh, but it easily comes up with a bit of rubbing and that's just my fingernail, but you could use a plastic putty knife. I wouldn't use a metal one. And that easily comes up, so it's not a big issue. We had the rug here, and when we moved the rug, we could see that it left a line. Obviously, the sun has lightened this part up more than this. This is the floor we did a few months later in our daughter's room, and it still looks great. In fact, this is the floor that was featured in Cottages and Bungalows magazine. Right there is Emma's room and her floor, and it was really wonderful to be featured in a national magazine. I want to show you what can happen if you leave just a small bump or lip in, underneath the paper. I thought this was not big enough, and so I didn't try to smooth it with putty, and it immediately started to wear through where this small lip was. The first one that we get, and it is the most popular, is can you do it over concrete? Who knew there were so many concrete floors in the country? And the answer is yes, you can do it over concrete. And there are some readers who have done it and they do change the technique a bit. And instead of using the glue and water mix, they use more polyurethane to glue the paper to the concrete. Another question we've gotten a lot is can you stain it a darker color? Some people don't want the paper color uh, they want to make it darker, and the answer to that is also yes. A number of readers have taken this technique and used stain, and they use it after they've applied the paper. They've let the paper dry, then they apply the stain before the polyurethane. We get asked a lot about applying the paper over vinyl, and I have not done this, and I, I'm pretty sure that some people have because they've talked about doing it in their bathrooms. So I know it can be done, but I have not personally done it. And my suggestion always is to do a test patch somewhere first. So the short answer is yes, I think, but test it first. Our other question we get quite a bit is can you use other types of paper? And of course you can, you can use whatever you want. It's just a decoupage technique on the floor. So any sturdy paper that you wanna use will work. Another question we get an awful lot is how long to wait before putting your furniture back on it or walking on it. And my answer to that is it all depends on your polyurethane. So read the back of your can of polyurethane and just follow the manufacturer's directions for how long to wait. And this is almost one of my favorite ones to answer. How do you clean it? And it's basically you clean it like any wood floor. We vacuum ours regularly we damp, very lightly damp mop with a microfiber mop occasionally when it's needed. And the last question is, how do you remove it? And I would answer that by saying, you don't. When you're ready for a different flooring, you just leave the paper there and put your new flooring on top. And in fact, we've never considered it to be a permanent flooring option. It's always um, something that you can do right away to get rid of nasty carpet from wherever you're living. And it does last a long time, enough time to save up for the floor of your dreams.